point in the mouth. So, what's next to do? A little bit more highlighting of the leotard. So we're going to go in with a lot of Screaming Skull. And we'll put the Wild Stacker Red into that. Hopefully that will do the job. And we're just going to do little points of um, What we call it? I'm just going to do little points of um, brightness here and there, just to make it stand out a wee bit. That is enough for him. We don't we need oops missed a bit there and there coming down there and coming down there. We don't need all that much more. And now for the other fella it's again And now I'm there. And then right at the bottom. Up again. Again. A bit more there. Back into the paint. Highlight the meeting tooth edge. It's not an area I wanted to highlight I'm going into the shadow, so I'm going to have to add a little more shadow into there. But you've seen me do that before, can be done. Then along the back, it's just a few marks there. Max there. And then that's well suffice. <clears throat> now I did say I wanted to do something with the teeth, and that is I grab Oops, I Greg said shed. We're going to give the mouth a wash with this. But not just this, we're going to mix it with the where's my oh there we are. We're going to mix some of it with the Carol Blur Crimson to make a more ready colour. I don't have much Reclam Flesh shade left, so I don't think I'm going to be able to get away with that. So we've mixed that and now we just apply it in the mouths and then hopefully once it's dried it will get into the areas of teeth and make them stand out. Oops, I'm going to move that back because I can't see what I'm doing because of the light reflection. There we are, that's that bit done. Now we need to go back into the um, original green colour for here because I've got some pale paint 
Boom, that's not where I want it to go. There we are. And finally I said I wanted to just give a certain couple of areas a wash, a little wash with. Which one area was here? I'm just going to get rid of this for a second. Just going to give this another bit of a very light going over. There's not much on here, but I just want to darken a few areas up. Um, There we go, and here as well, we can do that, and there, under there, um, can also take the wash under the um, end bands, and then here, again the same areas, Just try to get this into the creases because I, I did go over some that I didn't be want to. You can do that and that area, and then the boots. This is going to tie all of the um, highlights we did and make them all look. Um, make them all right because at the moment they were looking a little bit wrong I think I need to go back into the green with this put that there for a second and so I'm just back over the boots I want the boots to have a reddish brown cast I don't want it to look like a tan colour so that's why I'm doing this there we go that's that done and I said I wanted to go back into the um, Nurgling Green for something here and I can't remember what it was Oh yeah, there, there, and here. Right, so there we are, the green bruises I think it was those are two goblins right we're back and we're going to be <coughs> painting the ox for uh, this particular team um, now I just want to point out something that I've done um, with these since oh, just I just realized I've missed something right um, since I've, uh, the end of the video, or the end of that part of the video, I've actually gone over and given these another highlighting with the paler, um, what you call it, with a very pale green there. And I've mixed a little bit of the Scarlet with the Wasdaka Red and uh, the um, Screaming Skull to give it a little more highlight because it was looking a little dark. So there we are. But the boots are looking fine, as you can see. Quite happy with the boots. But as I say, I've just noticed that I've missed something. And that something I've missed is the, um, what you call it, the belt buckle. Or the buckle on this hat. As you can see, that white bit there. I don't know how I missed it, but I missed it. Mm. 
Right, first of all, I just realised um, it will need something in the background. So I'm going to go over it with a little bit, wet my brush. I'm just going to use a speck of the Lansdaka Red. Go over it with that. And while we're waiting for that to dry, we'll continue with the orcs. Now the orcs want a darker green colour, obviously because they're big beefy, um, big beefy orcs. So we're going to use <clears throat> a little bit of army painter for this one. And we're going to use Venom Worm. No, we're not. No, we're not. I don't like that colour for the ox. I want something a little more. Um, mm, a little rich colour. No, what we're going to use instead is Caliban Green. I like this one. This is a good base colour for bright coloured green items. I'm going to use a bit of it because obviously these orcs are big beggars. So I just want to make sure I've got enough on there to go over first of all painting them and secondly for um, mixing with the highlight colour. I'm going to zoom out a touch because these are bigger than the um, These are bigger than the goblins, obviously. So we'll dampen the brush. Take a little bit of extra moisture off. Get it into the paint. Hey, I knew we'd get so I knew we'd get there sometime. And we'll start on this now. As you can see, it's a little bit blurry at the moment. Um, it's a very intense dark green. There's a, a bit of flush in there, so I'll nip off. There's a, you know, as I was saying, it's a very intense dark green. say it's be something similar to um, phalo green actually looking for my um, little knife that I have looking around I can't see the little one so I'll have to use this one and this is just to clear that bit off jeez I can't believe how bad Good job I've done of cleaning these up. I thought I'd really done them. Oh dear. Right. With a. With a. With a um, I don't think they're wearing gloves. I think it's just uh, like a wristband kind of thing. Oh, we'll get there eventually with this. I really should have checked these before I decided to start painting them, but oh well, never mind. 
Yeah, it just goes to show that you can miss things. Now, this green paint that I'm using, if you're not careful, will actually dye your figures. Or your, not your figures. Um, it will actually dye your brush. So, do a couple of strokes and then wash. And when you finish using this one, I suggest giving it to giving your brush a good cleaning because I've noticed that even after a couple of times of um, just rinsing it out, you're still getting this colour coming out. Which, if you're painting with this colour, is not too bad, but if you're painting with yellow. Or white you see the problem um, so I really can't believe how bad I've done this clean up from these I thought I'd got it all oh well one of those things I'm just giving it some other rinse and then um, again, we want to make, get a good solid coat of this now the studio of the TNT Combat's photos, studio photos of these painted minis show a little design on the bottom of the legs of the shot of the leotard. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing the ones they use anyway. I might do something, but I don't know what yet. Um, But the one they use is like a little orangey crisscrossy type thing, like a checkerboard kind of thing, but it's not quite a checkerboard, but it's the best way of describing it. Um, and I don't want to do that. Um, I might, as I say, I might do something, I just don't know what yet. So the green bruisers are coming along. Um, they'll be coming along even, even better if I was a bit more observant with them. But as I said, the plan wasn't to actually use these minis as proper teams they were, they were just it was just a case of throw the throw them together paint well not throw them together but paint them up so that they're ready for playing with um and i'd sort out uh, the actual team that i want to use but i've actually decided after painting the human team the heavy pounders that i was going to you i was going to do this particular um, use this particular casino uh, Rolling Bones Casino I think it's called um, because of the other characters that's in the that we can use and actually shot myself in the foot I think because all my plans for just a quick paint job to get them on the table and then just abandon them when I start getting proper teams it was going out the window because I've decided that I'm going to use this casino as, as mine hey what do you do what do you do when you're an idiot so I'll give the brush another rinse and there we go. So it's up along the back. I 
I'll get them out of the way and I'll get my knife out of the way and I better shut it all before I cut myself that's so like me leaving that open and then we'll just get on with doing the thigh and I've noticed these aren't as good a quality mini as the um, the heavy pounders were but and I said these aren't going to be main I said these these definitely aren't going to be my main team my main team when I get them will be like an undead team but I'm able to use the orcs as well in it so um, that's what I'm going to do I think that's all I can do there majority of that yeah all of it's done and this should be dry now yep seems to be have a look we can go over to army painter and use plate mail metal and as I don't need much of it I'll use what's erupting from the top of the yeah I'll just put a spot of it on there and then we can do that <laughs> 